Hello everyone, Puzzatron here, taking a look at the Shantae Half Genie Hero demo. This is actually a demo sent out to Kickstarter backers and press. Um, I didn't back it on Kickstarter, though I probably would have, to be honest. I'm a big fan of the series so far. Uh, this is a game that's going to be out, uh, there's no release date, I'm hoping later this year. It's going to be on PSN, Wii U, Vita, Xbox, and PC. Uh, so yeah, this is a demo, it's got three stages in it, kind of shows off little bits and pieces. Uh, it's just a beta demo, so, you know, as it says on the title screen, work in progress, you know, don't go crazy about it if it's got a little bug here or there. But, uh, yeah, so I, I want to show off the demo. It's kind of cool, uh, and they've updated a lot. Ready. So as you can see right off the bat, the uh, the art style and everything is updated. It's not uh, pixely anymore, I guess I would say. The art style basically in-game matches the art that they've always used, and it looks gorgeous. It looks super good. Everything is like still really fluid, it looks really nice, the music's still there, it's got kind of this 2.5D thing going on, this is pretty cool. And uh, the animations are awesome, the animations are super, super detailed. And, uh, but I mean, you know, other than that, it's, it's very Shantae. Um, unlike the last game, she's got her magic powers back, so we can do a little dance and turn into a monkey. Uh, in this stage in particular, the monkey can climb up and down walls and jumps really high. I don't know if the monkey can swim. It cannot, okay. Um, so the monkey is used to climb on walls, jumps a lot higher. Let's see if we can get this crab out of the way. There we go. So I think, yeah, we can do a little dance here, turn into a monkey. I get up here now. Right now, the monkey uh, in the demo cannot attack. I don't know if that'll be like an upgrade or something at some point, so you can like break pots and such in monkey form, but right now you can't. Uh, this first stage is kind of just to show off the monkey too on the, on the demo. There's a lot of climbing you can do here. Oops, just fell. There we go. We can just get these pots instead. Pots usually contain gems and such. But yeah, I think it's really cool that they've. Uh, They've kept basically, you know, all the, the Shantae animations and such, but really, really upscaled the, the quality of the in-game graphics. Also, this monkey is just adorable, and when you duck, it kind of closes its eyes. Okay, so you can climb. Uh, yeah, we'll go all the way up here. Oh, actually, you slide down the wall, I guess, if you're uh, in monkey form. I'll switch back. You can switch at any time. When you're turning into the monkey, it actually pauses all the action around you. Also, she's still got her kind of weird bouncy animation there. I don't know if there are any secrets in this level. Uh, there might be. But mostly, this is just kind of an explore, get used to the monkey sort of stage. Oh, there's snakes here. There's actually, um, like a hidden... Must be a hidden passage somewhere up here, but I haven't managed to find it in the demo. So there's also a treasure chest. I don't know how to get to that either. <laughs> I uh, I've only played through the stages like once, so yeah. There's definitely a way. It seems like there would be a way to get that treasure, but I don't know what it is. Uh, right now in the demo, uh, you're restricted to one transformation per stage. Um, in the whole game, I'm assuming you'll be able to pick. That's kind of how it worked in the previous games, the transformation. I some traps. So that's the end of this stage for the demo. Let's get past this and we'll show off. I want to show off all the three stages here in the demo. So in this stage, instead of a monkey, you get to turn into an absolutely adorable crab. Uh, you can jump, and if you hold down, you protect yourself. Uh, the crab can s maneuver a little bit underwater. Shantae cannot. This is a much more linear stage. This is kind of just a side scroll left to right. Not a ton of exploration. More of a classic stage. And again, the animations and the art on everything is so good. Yeah, so if I turn to the crab here, 
So as the crab, you kind of float, and you can actually move down at any time. Um, but once you move down, you'd have to hit a surface to be able to jump back up. As a crab, we can swim through here and collect these things. Crawl along the bottom if we want to. Just be adorable. See, I think this is set after the last game. Um, as she has her powers back. I don't think it's a prequel. I hope I'm not wrong on that. Uh, as of right now, I don't have access to like an inventory or anything. Again, demo. But I'm sure there will be. Uh, it doesn't bring back the the layered level system either, um, like the foreground back, which I'm happy for. I was not a big fan of that in Risky's Revenge. found it very difficult to navigate. Alright, let me uh, grab form here. How is that? You know what? I never found that last time. Huh. I wonder if I can do something with this guy. No. Hmm. Yeah, there's like a hidden thing here. So I'm assuming you would get some sort of power up as a crab that lets you bust through those walls that I don't have in the demo. So that's kind of cool. Let me make it up there. No, see that would be a you'd switch into monkey. Go up there. It's a whole bunch of stuff. All right, so we got this wind thing here. I don't know if I can make it all the way over here on land. I might have to. No, I'm gonna have to crab form. Oh. Actually, I wonder if I uh, if I duck into crab form. No. Okay. So I gotta go through here. Actually, this is a different path than I took when I played the demo the first time. Uh, so we can make this jump. We don't have any offensive attacks of the crab right now. And there's a bunch of collectibles down there, but I'm just gonna get on with it for now. Oh. So if you are, uh, oh geez. If you're right next to a wall, yeah, you won't get blown back. You'll kind of catch yourself. The, uh, the interesting thing is, though, is that the um, power-ups and such will get blown back. So if you... Actually, let me see if I can show that off here. Wow, it's not gonna, it's not actually in the air. Yeah, I had a heart that was floating down and just got blown away. So these guys actually are good for money because when you break them, you can keep hitting. Yes, these are one of those boxes, or those uh, destructible blocks, presumably. I think there might also be a secret in this level because you can see these blocks that are movable, and each one locks into place when it hits a its pedestal, but there's not necessarily a, uh, a reason to use each one of them. So I wonder if there's like an unlockable secret if you actually put them all in place. This guy is kind of guarding me here. There we go. And she still does her trademark little wiggle when she's stuck down the ground. So we'll be safely back here. Uh, quicksand, I assume, kills you if you fall all the way down. I like the music in the background too. The music's still really good. Art's really good. Everything's really good. Uh, yeah, so I can push this block, but uh, there's not a whole lot of reason for it, other than stopping myself from getting blown back here. You don't actually have to destroy these guys either, you can actually just jump over them once they're in the ground. Well, I can actually use the quicksand to my advantage here, I didn't even think of that before. Alright, let's wait. Oh. I said wait, and then I made the jump anyway. See if I can get over here. Now I'm gonna take damage on this guy. Oh, jeez. Alright, I'll wait for this to go. And I'm kind of curious what other powers there are, too. I'm gonna miss, like, the hat and such from uh, Pirate's Curse. Okay, we're done with the, the windy section here. I'll just jump over this. Yeah, shall we can just jump over these guys and they'll come back up.
missing my faster hair whips and damage upgrades. I think this is the end, yeah, it's the end of this section of the demo. So we get the way forward logo. Of course, the developers. And I'll show off the, uh, the last level in the demo. So last level demo is kind of, I, uh, I'll say it's more of a Sonic the Hedgehog type of thing. Um, it's, you'll see, it's kind of an on-rails thing. Ready. And poor Shantae's butt is gonna be worn off by the time she gets down here. So yeah, so we've got this slide section, kind of reminds me of like a Sonic the Hedgehog skateboarding section or something like that. So, I think it was like snow cap or ice cap zone. It's been a while. These guys will come along and throw, I think they throw like enemies at me. Yeah, there we go. Or he throws like fish, it looks like. What's interesting is, and I, I don't know, I'm probably gonna eat my own words here, but the first time I came through this, I actually didn't die, I didn't fall. Uh, I took a fair amount of damage, but I never fell, which um, is kind of indicative of like really good design. Oh, it's actually, you can see the, like, the floor of the platform kind of ripples along as those barrels ride over. But uh, yeah, I never like got caught off guard too much by a, a jump, which is pretty good. It gives you like a lot of warning. So if you're paying attention, you can actually do this in one shot. Oh jeez! Oh no, I actually fell. Well, like I said, I was gonna eat my own words, right? Yeah, the first time I came through this, I actually did not fall once. And I assume in the full game there would be like checkpoints and such throughout this, but in the demo it's it's just a short snippet, so. Alright, let's get this guy. And I can control where I am on the platform, I can move back and forth. I'm trying to think about the physics of that too much. Oh, I missed a gem. Hmm. Alright, here we go. Ah. That one's fast enough. I think I would have had to go further down to make that thing. Okay, here we go. So these will come back here in a second. Or we'll catch up to them, rather. Alright, there's one. We have a two jump. Great. I don't think I can dance here now. There's no, no transformation here that I can tell. Alright, made it that time. Now this guy. There we go. Oop, there we go. Little jump. I think we're getting towards the end here, too. Yeah, we're getting to this, like, thorny area, so I don't know where that's gonna go. It doesn't look very safe, though. And, uh, again, the foreground art and everything is really cool. Yeah, that's the end of the level. So that's the demo. A uh, short little three, three demo snippet here. But yeah, so it's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know when it's coming out. I hope they'll give us a release date soon, but definitely want to show that off because I think it's um, definitely a good follow-up. Loving the art style, so pretty excited about it. Anyway, that's all. Uh, if you liked the video, click like. Helps a lot. And subscribe if you want to see more. See you soon.